Today, I'm looking at a tool that has got a multitude of uses. It's the kind of tool that you might not know that your business needed, but when you see this video, you might see how amazing it is. It's called Stelio, and it takes automated website screenshots. Now, I say a multitude of uses. Stick with this video. It's really interesting. It could be taking screenshots of your own website for compliance, to see what's been posted, so you've always got a record. It could take automated screenshots of a competitor's website to find out when they're doing special offers or when they launch promos. It could be that you're taking screenshots of a website that comes up with the latest things. For example, Google Trends. And it takes a daily screenshot or a twice daily screenshot and you can see what is trending on Google or a new site to find out what is happening in the news. It's got so many uses, so this will be quite a long video. We're going to explain all the uses and then we're actually going to jump into the software and we're going to see how it works. Let's have a look at Stelio. Just before we do that, classic Phil Edit. I spent a long time making this video and I was very proud of it. And then I realised that Stelio is probably pronounced Stelio, which makes sense because it captures still images of websites. So every time I say Stelio in this video, I mean Stelio. And don't forget, in the description of this video, you will find the link to get your free trial. So click that link and go and try out Stilio for yourself. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off on the Stilio website. And I think the easiest way for me to show you the uses is to scroll down on their website. Uh, the uses for automated website screenshots. Now, we're going to deal first with your business and your website. We'll go into each point and I'll try and do it as briefly as possible. But let's cover everything because... I've got a feeling this software might suddenly become appealing when you see what it can do. And you might never have thought of it, but it could be a really handy tool. So we start off with website compliance because these days, anything that you post, now this might be on your website, in your blog, or on your social media. Everything that you post is actually considered as an official publication. And you might have a team of people publishing stuff and you've got to keep an eye on it. So you'll be able to set up Stelio to take regular screenshots of your homepage, your news page or a social media account, account on Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. So you're finding out exactly what you are putting out there because there'll be other people keeping an eye and looking at your information. I'm not saying they're going to try and trick you out, but it's the way of the world these days. You've got to have your back covered. So website compliance is also a major thing, but also on your website, discover the trends. Now, it might be is your website performing well? Is it always getting a good A score, you know, on the speed store, on the optimization store? So you can scores. So you can set it up with these services and take a screenshot every day to see if your website is getting A or B, uh, how it's doing in the Alexa rankings. And it can take pictures of your follower accounts on Twitter and stuff to see if you're growing. You can create valuable data Uh all with Stelio. And all of these can be set up, I'll tell you a little bit later, to be stored on your Google Drive or your Dropbox. So you've always got access to them. Uh, as well as that SEO tracking. How is your site doing on a Google search? So you can set it up to do the Google search every day for your search term and to actually see if your website is appearing in the front page, if the adverts are actually appearing in the good positions. Uh, and this could be for local maps, and for product images, you can see that it's a really valuable tool if you set it up rightly. Sticking with your website, or if you have an agency that promotes other people's content and you need to show to an advertiser or somebody you're working with, with their social, that you are actually posting, you can set up Stelio to automate those screenshots so that if they ever say, well, we didn't see these adverts you've set well here you are here's the screenshot this is when we published the article about this product and this is when we posted on facebook about that product so you can set it up so it takes screenshots so if there's any comeback from your advertisers you can show them when you've posted stuff so that's the first part dealing with your website but now we move on to your competitors or monitoring other websites now the first thing could be your competitor just their website their home page when are they releasing new offers, doing special promotions? Take the screenshots every day of your major competitors. Have, wow, they've just taken 20% off that plan. So that you can always just have a quick overview 
in time and you've got a record over time of their pricing or what they're promoting. It might be that your competitors or you sell a product on Amazon or eBay or any of the uh, channels and it will take a photo of their pricing. I know there are other apps that can take actual photos and graphs over time, but an actual physical picture, maybe they're changing the image of something. Maybe they're changing the way they market something. So you've always got a screenshot of what they are changing over time. And then you can forward that uh, to the relative members of your team. And finally, when we get, an, and it could be that you want to monitor the news channels. In my country, possibly monitor the BBC. Take a screenshot twice a day and see if any stories come up relating to your business. Just a quick scan through. Oh, look, there's a story there about solar energy and we sell solar, solar panels. So quickly you can jump on that news article and create your own blog. You can see it's a really versatile tool. And finally, companies are becoming more aware of their brand heritage. Where do they come from and where are they going? So you can set up Stelio to take screenshots of websites, social media. It's quite funny when you look back at a brand and see how bad the logo was or how bad the early videos were. So you can show in the future how you have grown. And you'll always have like a digital scrapbook of where your company's been. And you can do it automatically without using up work time and work hours. So you've got an archive. So now I'm going to log on to my Stelio account, jump in and show you exactly how it works and how easy it is to set up. OK, so here is my Stelio account. I will talk you through this dashboard and explain how everything works. You will see that I've got the web pages below that I am monitoring, but you can display here either the web pages, the domains. These are basically the websites where I'm monitoring the web pages, the tags. I'm not monitoring any tags at the moment, but that's easy to set up. And a new feature, which we'll talk about now, is sitemaps. So you can set up Stelio to monitor every single page of a website. So it might be that you want just to be covered and to take a screenshot of everything that happens on your website. Just in case there's any feedback, for whatever reason you want to, that can now be set up on Stelio. So let's show you how to add a new web page. Just click on add a web page and say I wanted to monitor as well Sky News in the UK. I would go onto the Sky site and I would just simply copy that domain. Of course, say I was into tech, for example, let's do it for tech. So say I wanted to monitor science and tech because I wanted to find out. This is great news, by the way. Did you see this about Alzheimer's early stages, but a drug that can actually slow the decline? Fantastic news. Hopefully they can really develop it into something that can help people. Um, yeah, but say you wanted to monitor all the latest in tech. You would just simply copy that web address. So you paste that domain into Stelio, add a title, Sky News Tech page, uh, and then you decide how often you want to capture. So in the case of these news channels like the BBC and Sky, I would suggest that they release their planned regular stories once a day. Uh, of course, if it's breaking news, you know, these stories will come out straight away, but the planned stories probably once a day. So that's what I would do for a news channel, but you can decide. You've got total control. Uh, you can capture them every hour, every day, every week, every month, or be more specific, every two hours, every two days. You can decide. But for this, we'll go every day. And then decide when you want to start. Do you want to start now? Or you can specify a specific time and date when you want to start capturing. It might be that you've got a Black Friday promotion coming up and you want to monitor other companies around Black Friday. Uh, now, if you want to add tags like tech, news, you can add them there and they'll appear back where we looked before in the dashboard under tags. Now, I don't want to get too into the expert mode now, but you can really see how versatile Stelio is. You can decide if you want to capture the desktop site, the tablet site or the mobile site. And you can decide if you're going to capture the full page or how high the page is or custom how much of the page you're going to capture. You decide if you're going to capture the site in the USA or the UK, where you're going to capture it from. Let's turn on expert mode again. I just switched it off there. Now, I'm not going to pretend I'm an advanced user, but if you understand this and obviously look in the Stelio documentation, you can also set up these parameters like the click, hide, hover, user agent, and the cookies. So I'm obviously just capturing the single URL, but you can add multiple URLs 
to capture and it will save them all under that one uh, setting or from the sitemap. And you can upload the sitemap XML there and set up a sitemap. So once you've done that, once you're happy with it, so we're going to go back to the single, put the domain in again, uh, set it up. It's going to capture every day. I want it to start now. I'm going to capture the desktop site. Uh, and I'm happy with that. I click save web page. And we go back to the Stelio dashboard. And you can see now that Sky News there has captured our tech page. There it is. Captured today at 12.10. There is the technology page for Sky. Captured. So somebody in your organisation or you can have a quick look every day and see what the latest tech stories are. So let's quickly look at the other things I've got set up. So there's my Phil Reviews YouTube channel. I'm still building the website. It's nearly there. It's nearly ready to go. But I will be using this once I've got Phil's.deals rocking and rolling because it'll always keep a record of everything I've said and done. A lot of it is about covering your back in this day and age we live in. But you can see that over time now, I set it to capture once a day. And there is a capture fairly recently where I've just put up this new video saying, welcome to my channel. Don't like it. Got to, yeah, got to redo it. Uh but then we go back again and I can just keep an eye. So say somebody came up to me and said, you didn't post our video that you said you'd post. I'll say, I think I did. Here is the record of it. Sorry about that. That was me um, getting dressed up as a golden taco. <laughs> uh, record of that. I've not got my website yet. It's just about to be launched uh, literally in a few days. Uh, Phil's dot deals. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying launching it. It's going to be a place where I test out all different softwares on one site. It could be really good or it could just crash. But once that's set up, I will get it to capture my site every day so that, well, really, because in this day and age, you've always got to cover your back. You know, what did you say? What did you release? Uh, what else have we got here? Google Trends. I've got it set up to monitor. So it looks at the trends. What is trending? So we can look at the 30th of November and we can see that trending today, World Cup, Taylor Swift, American Football, uh, what are the recent trending words? And um, we go back down to, say, the 28th. What was trending on the 28th? And we can see still World Cup, still Taylor Swift, but different things that are trending. And, of course, in Google Trends, you could just search for a specific term or topic and then set that up. So it might be to do with your business or your company, and it'll find out what's trending in the world of software or in the world of retail. This one's quite boring, actually, because uh, it was just a product that I set up just randomly. <laughs> But say you've got competitors who are selling something on Amazon. This was just the first thing I found when I searched. Uh, yeah, it's a Dutch oven. <laughs> All right. But you could have a look on the 30th of November. This is how they were marketing it. This is the price they were selling it for. Also, this is what other people are selling it for. You could keep an eye on all of the details, see if anybody's selling it secondhand, and then you could go back. It was eighty two ninety nine there. I've got a feeling if I go all the way back, it's still going to be eighty two ninety nine. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go back earlier on. Was it still eight? It was still eighty two ninety nine. But you do understand the potential here. You could keep an eye on a competitor or your item on the marketplace you can see if any new reviews are coming in anything to say or, or ever there's any new competitors offering alternatives uh you you even though that's quite a boring one you get the idea uh, of why you would use that with amazon or with ebay or with an other selling channel okay a couple more uses uh crypto you might want to monitor this i just set this up i don't really use crypto and this is not financial advice this is just entertainment <laughs> But uh, you could be monitoring the stats on your crypto. It might be a coin, a currency, the market price, how popular it is, how many transactions a day, and keep an eye on those transactions over time. A couple more uses. Let's have a look at Google Maps. Now, Google Maps could be used for quite a few things. It could be that you want to search for your business's local search listings and see what's coming up when people search on the map for something. I've just put this in really as a bit of a fun case study. Uh, this is the London traffic. So you could set this up to every day or every hour monitor London traffic. It might be that your company keeps an eye on emissions or roadblocks. I'll just use this as an example. But you could see that every hour 
these roads are busy, these roads are clear, and you could monitor it over time. You might be a university student or a university doing a study. So really versatile, quite a lot you could do with Google Maps. And finally, you can set Stelio up to monitor and take a screenshot of a Google search. So in this case, we're searching for best SEO tools on Google, and we can have a look. And let's find one that's got the adverts on. You can monitor all sorts from this. You can find out which companies are paying to advertise for the term best SEO tools. That might be your competitors. You might want to see if you're appearing there. You might want to contact those companies and offer them your services. You can see which articles are appearing high up, appearing high up on the Google searches and what people are also asking for over time when it comes to SEO. You can see how useful that could be. Okay, we are getting there now. I know this is a long video, but I do want to cover everything in it. We're just going to go to the settings now, just show you a few more things. There is your profile. There is the subscription package you're on. Let's just show you a couple more. You can set up APIs with it. Time slots is quite interesting. It might be that you don't want to copy at night time in the UK. So you don't want to capture as many in, uh, images at night. So you can create a time shot then when you want screenshots to be captured or not captured. Security is just your security. The usage is your data, how many screenshots you've been taking over time. But let's just show you very quickly this one. This is the main thing I want to show you that you can connect Dropbox, Google Drive, or your webhooks. But we're just going to concentrate on setting up Google Drive. So once it is authorized on Google Drive, let's just jump very quickly to my Google Drive. I'm just laughing because I'm just thinking... I've been pronouncing Stelio, Stelio, and looking at the spelling of it, it's quite possibly Stelio, isn't it? And that makes sense because it captures still images from time. I'm not redoing the video. Oh, hopefully you're all right with that. But um, you can see that once you've authorized it on Google Drive, it automatically sets up a folder called Stelio. And in that folder will be all of your screenshots. As they're captured as another action, it uploads all of those images to google drive obviously i've only got 15 gig of storage in this one so you'll obviously want an account with plenty of storage and it will capture everything either into your dropbox or into your google drive and i think that is it i think it's one of those tools that you probably didn't realize you had a use for but now i've explained it you might think our business or i need this to keep an eye and monitor our websites Let's jump out and let's tell you my final thoughts on Stilio. Quite a long video, but hopefully that's helped you see some of the uses for you or your business, how you can use it to capture your web page, entire web pages or competitors' web pages or product pages or external websites. There is a link in the description of the video. Use that link and you can try it out for free. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I review software and other stuff. I will see you next time.